Hey everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. So what does the Hawk have to offer today? So this is from Nassif, or excuse me, this is from Cat's Eye Distilling Company out of Bettendorf, Iowa. This is specifically the Nassif Family Reserve American Whiskey Batch Number 9. Now, they do have different batches, but for the most part, these profiles should remain fairly consistent based on what it is that they're doing with the blending. So this comes in at 107 proof or 53.5% uh, ABV. Mash bill is a little bit different. This is a blend. So this is a blend of basically three components, uh, roughly a 15 year uh, light whiskey. Uh, and then you've got the MGP 95.5 uh, rye and an MGP uh, bourbon. So they blend all of those together to create the NASF family reserve. Again, non-age stated, and really the price point on this is something I really like is right around $40. So you'll see as we get into the review a little bit, I think it's a really nice price point for what it is that you are going to be getting. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, into the review. Color-wise, as you can see, kind of a light copper uh, type of color. Uh, not a lot of copper, or excuse me, not, not a lot of color. Uh, you do have some of that light whiskey, which a lot of times doesn't have a ton of color. So that may br bring down some of the color. But again, that's that's not you know a, a deal breaker in this. So let's get into the uh, let's get into the nose. Ooh, a very citrus and tropical fruit forward. Yeah, a lot of that like pineapple you know, like mango, things on things that you think of as tropical type of fruits. Oh, some really nice heavy honey notes on this as well. A little bit of a mint aspect that's there as well. A little bit of like a candy corn uh, aspect, probably from the, the high corn in the, in the light whiskey. Oh, a little bit of like a dark chocolate on this one as well. So that's kind of a nice, nice note to pull out. Medium oak, there is a little bit of that oak presence that's there. Really nice vanilla bean. Uh, so more of a kind of like a fresh vanilla. You don't have like an artificial, this is a little bit more of that clean kind of uh, full on like vanilla bean aspect. It's very layered. The one nice part about this is that you're picking up some of the nuances of not only the light whiskey, but the rye that's there. Again, you're picking up a little bit of that spice, the mint from the rye. Uh, from that 95.5 great mash bill from MGP, you know, and then you've got the bourbon that's going to kind of round it out a little bit. So it's nice in terms of picking up each subtle component of this blend. All right, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, let's get into the uh, taste. Cheers. And again, very, very tropical. You know, in addition to the tropical notes, that pineapple, some of the papaya, there's also still some subtleties of the orange citrus, a little bit of that like lemon citrus as well uh, is there as well. Really, really nice uh, so far. Really nice vanilla notes. Touch of black pepper right there on the back of the palate as well. Those tropical fruits really dominate uh, on this one, which is really nice. It's a really nice, well-balanced, you know, blended uh, American whiskey. So this is, again, where you'll... It's fun to sit down with something like this because then you can kind of dissect it, pull out the, the different nuances of, you know, each whiskey component that's in this, in this blend and they really each kind of shine, you know, in their in their own right, which is really nice with a whiskey when you can kind of pull out those differences. As long as you've had all of those different whiskeys before, you'll you'll know what each one kind of has to offer. And this one is is definitely doing that. So yeah, it's kind of like in terms of tropical, you get a little bit of that like juicy fruit bubblegum aspect that's there. Not necessarily the bubblegum part. But when you think of that sweetness and tropical fruit type of, of aspect, you know, that definitely kind of comes to the forefront. Still nice oak presence that's there. Nice spice on it. 
yeah, a little bit more on the palate. This is a little bit more of a, a baker's chocolate in terms of the, the chocolate presence, but not with the, the overall sweetness from the, from the chocolate that's there. But a nice spice remains. That tropical aspect definitely is, is there throughout. Some of the nice like vanillas, like almost like a, a confectionery um, uh, taste to it. And again, that's a pretty typical thing that you'll get from a, a light whiskey with the high corn. Uh, a lot of times that you get just from that mash bill uh, with the light whiskey in terms of how it's it's kind of you know made you get a lot of sweetness from a from a light whiskey so you can definitely pick up that that, that nuance of this of this blend yeah still that touch a little black pepper right on the back nice mint aspect that's there that's kind of coming through a little bit more nice oak nice spice nice sweetness it's really an interesting blend. And, and one other thing I would say is if you're okay with making a, a higher proof cocktail, I think this would do really, really well in a, in a Manhattan just based on what it is. It mixed with kind of like a sweet vermouth, I think would probably do really well. I think there's enough spice and oak that's there that would probably balance out the, the sweet vermouth. Uh, part of it in terms of the the Manhattan could be a very interesting old fashioned as well, but it's it's already kind of a kind of a cocktail in the glass a little bit in terms of what it has to to offer from that standpoint. So you know may not do as well in an old fashioned, but I could see this really holding up well in a in a Manhattan. So very very it's really nice American whiskey so far. You know, finish wise, I'd say it's probably, you know, on the medium side, you know, not much more than medium, but again, that lingering spice, the tropical fruit, nice oak, really nice spice on it. Some of the vanilla sweetness that's there. Yeah, again, some of that oak, really nice. Overall, I think it's a well-balanced blend. I think they've done a good job of being able to incorporate what they all are kind of in terms of them being put together but they're nice enough to shine also in terms of each component of the the light whiskey from the bourbon to the rye each one within this blend kind of shine so it's it's a very interesting well balanced you know american whiskey so i think they've done a good job you know cat's eye distillery you know definitely check them out see what they're doing i'll have a link in the description uh, below to um, to cat's eye but there you have it so again this is the nasif family reserve you know gene is doing some really incredible things uh, over there they're getting a lot of product out a lot of different things so i'll be really interested to kind of follow you know their journey in terms of what it is that they've got to to offer as well so with that being said i want to say thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews greatly appreciate you tuning in and all of the support if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. That also gets you part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, where Jason and I, Jason from the Mash and Drum, um, do some barrel picks, and then we offer all of that up to our patrons for all of the support. So thank you so much, everybody, for, uh, again, all of the support tuning in to the reviews. And as always, remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.